In this video, we will see how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam with overhang on both sides and as well as it is carrying a point load or concentrated load at the end as shown in the figure. The beam length is 12 meter, the supported length is of 6 meter as shown over here and it is having 3 meter overhang on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side and carries a concentrated or point load of 10 kN at this particular end. Now let us see how to find out the beam reactions. So applying the conditions of equilibrium that is summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. Upward forces we have considered as positive and downward forces we have considered as negative. So RA and RB which are acting in the upward direction both these forces reactive forces they are positive. 10 kN it is acting in the downward direction it is negative. 8 kN per meter. So this is the uniformly distributed load. For 1 meter load, the load that is acting is 8 kN. Total uniformly distributed load is from C to D. The total length is 3 plus 6 plus 3 that is 3 plus 6 that is 9, 9 plus 3 that is 12. So 8 into 12 is the total uniformly distributed load. So RA plus RB is equal to 106 kN. The another condition of equilibrium that we can apply is summation of moment is equal to zero. Clockwise forces they are considered as clockwise moments are considered as positive, whereas anti-clockwise moments are considered as negative. So taking moments about point A. So start with RB. RB will produce anti-clockwise moment about A. Perpendicular distance between B and A is six. So RB into six minus rb into 6 because clockwise anti-clockwise moment is there then this 10 kN it will produce clockwise moment so see this arrow it will go in the clockwise direction towards a so 10 into the perpendicular distance is 3 plus 6 that is 9 now see this udl it is 8 kN per meter that is for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 8 kN total UDL length is 12 so 8 into 12 which is acting at the center of this 12 meter so it will be acting over here so if you consider this particular length it is 3 meter so 8 into 12 into 3 and this will produce again clockwise moment so it is positive so transfer this minus RB into 6 term on this side so 378 is equal to RB into 6 so 378 divided by 6 so RB is equal to 63 kilonewton substitute that value in equation 1 so ra will be equal to 106 minus rb so ra will be equal to 106 minus 63 and therefore the value of reaction at a is 43 kilo newton now now we have to draw the shear force diagram so we'll start with shear force diagram calculations upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative shear force at point c is equal to zero just at the left of a so between c and a without considering this ra the load that is present is 8 kN per meter for 1 meter it is 8 kN then for 3 meter it will be 8 into 3 that is 24 and as it is acting in the downward direction it is minus 8 into 3 that is minus 24 exactly at point a we have to add this upward acting reaction ra so minus 24 is already there plus 43 so it is 19 kN positive value just at the left of b we have to take into consideration the uniformly distributed load between a and b up to a we are already calculated that is how much 19 kilo newton so 8 into 6 the length between a and just left of the b is 6 so 8 into 6 that is 48 but it is acting in the downward direction so it is minus 8 into 6 so 19 minus 48 that is minus 29 kilo newton exactly at b we have to add to this minus 29 the upward acting reaction RB of 63 kilo Newton. So minus 29 plus 63 that is 34 kilo Newton. Now just at the left of D, so between B and D, UDL is 8 kilo Newton per meter for 3 meter length. So 8 into 3. So it is 34 minus 24 that is 10 kilo Newton. But exactly at point D to this 10 kN there is a downward acting minus 10 kN so it is 0 kN 
So using these values, we have to draw shear force diagram. So this is the shear force diagram indicating the various values at C and at D the values are 0. At A there are two values minus 24 and 19 kilonewton. Then at point B also minus 29 and 34 kilonewton. At D 10 kilonewton and 0. So these are the various values. Now this is the point where the shear force diagram is changing the sign and this is known as point of zero shear. So just we'll consider it at a distance of x from the left hand side that is from point C. If this is x and this is 3 then this base of this triangle second triangle is x minus 3. So there are two similar triangles which we have considered. This is the first triangle whose base is 3, height is 24, this is the second triangle whose base is x minus 3 and height is 19. And now we'll find out this point of zero shear. So we'll find out this distance x correct, at which the shear force diagram changes its sign. So from these two similar triangles 1 and 2 we can say that base upon height of this triangle 1 that is 3 upon 24 is equal to base upon height of this second triangle that is x minus 3 divided by 19 cross multiply so 3 into 19 is equal to 24 into x minus 3 and just simplify so 57 is equal to 24 x minus 72 or we can say that x is equal to 5.375 meter from point c now at this particular point we'll find out what will be the bending moment so first we'll have to find out what will be the bending moment at this section xx so we have to consider all the forces so we have extrapolated this dotted line over here on this diagram so this distance x as it is which is there already in the diagram shear on the shear force diagram the same distance x then x minus 3 which will be required for the calculations so consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this section xx so on the left hand side of this section xx we are having ra this RA it will produce the clockwise moment so as you can see this arrow it will produce clockwise moment about this section and the perpendicular distance is what it is x minus 3 so this is the perpendicular distance so RA into x minus 3 then from C up to this section x is the distance is what it is x so 8 kilonewton per meter then 8 into x will be the total UDL load and it will be acting at the center of x that is x by 2. So this will produce anti-clockwise moment. So this UDL which is acting at the center of x will produce anti-clockwise moment. So 8x is the force into x by 2. So 8x into x by 2. Now substitute the value of x. x is 5.375. So we can get the value of bending moment at this section as minus 13.43 kilonewton meter. Now we'll do the another bending moment diagram calculation. So at the end the bending moment is zero that is point C bending moment is zero. Now at point A consider all the forces on the left hand side of A. So on the left hand side of A we are having only 8 kilonewton per meter force. So convert that force into point load so it is 8 into 3 and we know that it will be a rectangular distribution so it will be acting at the center of 3 meter that is 1.5 meter or 3 by 2 and it will produce anti-clockwise moment about A so minus 8 into 3 that is the total UDL load and perpendicular distance is 3 by 2 bending moment at xx already we have calculated now bending moment at point b we have to calculate so consider all the forces on the left hand side of b so ra will produce clockwise moment perpendicular distance between a and b is 6 so it is ra into 6 then udl from c up to b because this is our reference from c up to b the total udl length is 3 plus 6 that is 9 
and it will be acting at the center of 9 that is 9 by 2 suppose it is acting over here this is 8 into 9 then at the center of 9 so this will be 4.5 meter or we can say that 9 by 2 then bending moment at the end is 0 so this is anti-clockwise moment so it is negative so 8 into 9 into 4.5 so that value we have already written over here so total value is minus 66 kilonewton meter so using this we can draw the bending moment diagram over here so at c and at d it is 0 at a it is minus 36 at section xx it is minus 13.43 at B it is minus 66 and at D it is 0. So in this way we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam having overhang on both the sides and carrying a point load at the right hand support, right hand end. Thank you very much for watching.